When the kittens are in the pool, Phoebe's there to supervise. Once the kittens are out, they'll lie on a big towel, and Phoebe will lick them dry. She's like a little nanny. I had no idea that Phoebe was going to be this good with the kittens. That was not part of my plan. She just did it. I started fostering kittens because Phoebe was scared of cats. She was growling. She was trying to hide. I felt like, oh, I gotta do something. You okay? I could see that she kind of wanted to get to know them. Good, good girl. Good job. We would use some treats, and it took about a week. When we finally felt comfortable letting them interact without putting a barrier. Good job, Phoebe. First time Phoebe spun in front of me because there was a cat. That's when I knew she's gonna be fine. You can see her jumping, and after that, they were best friends. We fostered kittens named Biscuit and Gravy. First few weeks, they had a really bad parasite infection. I made sure to sanitize their living space so that they don't get reinfected. Phoebe likes to inspect everything when it comes to kitten stuff. She was by their side as they got better. And within a few weeks, the kittens finally got better. They started play. She wants to be involved in everything. Phoebe is really amazing with them. She helped the boys blossom into their personalities. When the day came where Biscuit and Gravy got adapted, Phoebe knew something was happening. She was licking Biscuit and Gravy's new mom, and she even got to say her final goodbyes to Biscuit and Gravy. I'll never forget how special that moment was. It is such a blessing to have her help me with the kittens. It's not easy fostering, but I feel like Phoebe and I are a good team. She's just so patient and tolerant. She used to be terrified of cats, but fostering kittens brought out her nurturing side that I didn't even know she had. I feel really, really proud of us as a team helping those kittens.